latency test error. So could not connect to the test server. We're gonna plug it in to the PoE in port. And it's very, very faint blue. Man, that's a huge difference. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Dana. I'm Art. And this is our beautiful five acre property in rural Southern Ohio. And we do have a little bit of a problem out here. And that's that sometimes our cell signal is a little spotty. It's not always reliable. So we rely pretty heavily on Wi-Fi. But even then, there's a little bit of a problem with that. Now our router is currently in the basement. And the furthest point on our property from that router is a little over 300 feet. And as you'll see with our test, <laughs> Wi-Fi is just not happening there. So thankfully, Wavelink sent us their AC1200 dual band outdoor access point to hopefully resolve this issue with not having any service farther out on our property. <laughs> so what we're gonna walk through is an unboxing so you see what comes in the kit. We're gonna do a before speed test at two different far corners of our property. And then we'll go through the installation and a walk through on the app or at least from the configuration standpoint <laughs> of the antenna. And then we'll repeat the test at the same locations afterwards to see if we actually have Wi-Fi. I bet we do. I hope so. <laughs> then you can call for help. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then I can call for help if I really do need it. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in the box. What's in the box? All right, right off the bat, we have our access point. Next up, we have our power outlet. We have some screws and anchors if you're gonna mount this on some drywall. And then our PoE or power over ethernet converter. If you're not familiar with power over ethernet, this is incredibly cool technology because it allows you to place these devices in a location without having to also run power. You're really just running one cable, which is the network cable to it, and your power is running through that ethernet cable. So what will happen is you will plug your uh, converter in at a power source, you're going to end up uh, plugging your LAN port into your router close to that power source, and then you're gonna have the network cable running out of the converter directly to the access point. So one cable, a lot less to worry about, very, very efficient and clean. Next up. Two zip ties for mounting if you need those. We have our quick start guide. 2.4G antennas. Five G antennas. Last piece, our antenna braces. All right, we've got our laptop set up on our trusty little camping table. You see the house in the background and our Wi-Fi router is in the basement on the right-hand side. So direct line of sight to the router and roughly 305 feet from that location. All right, we've got our Wi-Fi connected here, our network name, NSA Surveillance. We're gonna jump over to speedtest.net and see how it works from this direct location currently. Download 
upload 4.03. All right, now we've got it set up at the furthest point away from the house on the opposite side of the pole barn. We've got Wi-Fi turned on, showing connected, showing to our network. Let's go to speed test and see what we can get here. And this is before. And latency test error. So could not connect to the test server. So clearly no Wi-Fi to this point. All right, we're in the basement. We've got our power over ethernet device here. We've got the power plugged into a wall outlet. We have the gray Cat5 going into our router. And then we have our blue Cat5 that's actually gonna go outside to the antennas. So we'll go ahead and turn this on now. So now we should have power out to the antenna. All right, we've got our Cat5 cable coming up out of the basement. We're gonna plug it in to the PoE in port. And it's very, very faint blue. So definitely not gonna be able to see it in some of the outdoor light, but we have everything lit up. Now we need to go ahead and configure the antenna. All right, the very first thing is we're gonna go back to our network settings on our device, go into the access points or the different networks to choose from. We should have two of the Wavelink options. We'll go ahead and choose one of those to connect. Showing connected now. Now in our user guide, our next step is to end up going to the website and if that is not working then we're just going to enter in the IP address directly into the URL window. I could not get our old MacBook to actually connect up to the configuration page so we're going to give it a shot with the cell phone see if that will allow us to get into it. Then we're going to go to the website wap.login.link. From here, we'll log in with the admin password. All right, now we're going to follow the rest of the, the user manual to set up the last bit of settings so it'll be ready to use. Now to test this properly, you need to be able to put this at the highest point that has visibility across the area that you're hoping to get signal to. So I made this temporary mounting stand here on top of the roof to be able to test this out. If this works great, then we'll come back and we'll make a more permanent solution to the side of the house. All right, we are back to our furthest corner and this is the area that we had no Wi-Fi connection, at least not enough to run a speed test last time. Wow. Man, we couldn't even run this test from this location last time. This is huge. All right, here we are at the direct line of sight corner of our property. And just as a reminder, what we hit on the speed test before the AC-1200. All right, test with the AC-1200. Oh, goodness.
Still going, still going. Man, that's a huge difference. Wow, what a difference. I know, right? <laughs> Goodness gracious. Now we got folks on the other side of the tray line over there that'll now pick up our Wi-Fi signal and wonder <laughs> why, why is there a network suddenly showing up that says NSA surveillance? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have a sense of humor, folks. <laughs> you absolutely do. A huge thank you to Wavelink for providing their AC1200 for us to test it out here on the property. We certainly could not get the signals that we have without your help, so thank you. So if this episode helped you out, go ahead and smash that like button and give us a comment. Let us know your thoughts. And until next episode, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you again soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.